I said to someone the other day, I kind of feel like my sexuality as an actress is something that I had to sign over to somebody else, some third party, and then I've, you feel like you have to spend the rest of your career fighting to get it back. When I first read the sex scenes that are contained in it, I was a little nervous and I emailed my agent and I said, oh, I don't normally do this stuff. And then I kept reading and I really, I really dug the story and I understood what it was saying. And as I said before, it was the, the lovemaking is an element of this story rather than the be all end all. You don't have to say anything. Just show me how you feel. It really was about the two characters connecting. So <sighs> popped my sex scene cherry you know, it's kind of <laughs> makes me think about when you're walking down the street and there are all those guys on the construction site and they whistle and the feminist in me goes oh how dare they and then one day they stop whistling and you think don't stop how dare you whistle god damn it um so now that people would probably pay me to keep my clothes on i'm starting to get a little loosey goosey In the touching and the reaching. Mm. Naya, my little rebel, where will you take me? Man is only capable of creating what he's capable of imagining. So we go where we're looking. It's up to forward thinkers, like writers in science fiction, to create a world that we can then see as being possible, that we either need to avoid at all costs or move towards earnestly. I've always loved the aspect of science fiction of inspecting humanity from an outside perspective. We, the Val, remember that wondrous, precious moment of coming into consciousness. The best way to describe how I view Strange Frame is that it's like a punk Blade Runner. We pull our cast from shows we love, Farscape and Stargate. Born in the late 28th century on the moon Ganymede, no biological modifications. Just an all-natural middle-cast girl. Fork that. Took the name Parker, grabbed my precious horns and ran. Come back to me. The major uh, criterion for selecting jobs for me is originality. So when Pitch Black came across my desk, there were a couple of elements that I thought were so cool and different. When Farscape came across my desk, the same reaction. So it's a visceral thing. And it's a stimulating thing. I mean, I just, as an artist myself, if someone presents something to me that, that is unique, I'm excited by it. When I got to the city, I was swept up in the riots to end debt slavery. Got shot at by the military. But I was about to find out nothing is as dangerous as love. I'm sure I'm not alone in thinking that Blade Runner is one of the best films of all time, and while it does fall into the genre of science fiction, it just stands alone as a, a beautiful piece of art with a great moody story. And I would say that Strange Frame is like a punk version of Blade Runner. All bets are off, the rules have changed, the boundaries have changed in the future, people are genetically modifying themselves, there's a very noirish vibe to it, but with a, a sort of a youthful punk edge as well.